Hi everyone, I am me SL Narayanan who just finished his sixth round in the Qatar Open Masters. Uh, SL, I just drew your game against the Olympiad medalist Nodir Bek Abdul Satarov. Uh, do you consider this as a good uh, good match? Well, speaking about the game, it was hmm. very interesting game because when I played this mode D5, I had to calculate a lot. Uh, as I, I mean, just now said in the other interview, so like ED5, Knight D5, Knight C4 was critical. And there, Knight F4, I was planning. And uh, while he was thinking, I found out that maybe he can Knight C into E5, he can take. Where after Knight E5, Knight E5, Queen G5, that was my intention. He has this strong move, Knight G4. And if I go here, Bishop into G4, Rook into E check, King H7, F3. I mean bishop d7 rook e2 he consolidates and it's just a pawn up so so i had i mean we were i was discussing this these lines with abdul satro just now so we were also considering some moves after 95 95 knight g2 like because he also missed this knight g4 move and knight g2 we couldn't make it work knight into f7 some crazy stuff was happening where again white was consolidating then then okay then he suggested maybe rook k6 something but still all this i think it's uh, it's not clear like uh, how exactly i will prove this compensation if not it should be immediately very bad for me the position so i'm not sure i mean is d5 a good move or mistake because i mean have to go back and check because i, I mean i also saw like queen g5 there's no defense so i thought okay i mean this should be this should be very good and yeah we both missed it and i don't know i mean maybe computer will show some that some defense for black but practically i couldn't find he also couldn't so yeah overall a tough game also i mean i arrived to the tournament hall a bit late today because i missed the bus and like they had to arrange another bus so everything was fine but still i was a bit nervous initially because yeah i was preparing a lot i couldn't like expect anything yeah because he plays almost everything so initially i was a bit nervous but during the course of the game i think i managed to hold my nerves and in the end game it was so tricky i should say once more like i thought some point he he was out slowly out playing me when i played this b5 rook c3 he started out playing me and it was so difficult to play and i'm happy that finally i found this rook into b2 uh, d6 yeah, rook b3, king into e4, rook b6, which is very strong. Because if you go d7, rook b6, king d3, rook d6, and I mean, minimum I have like a draw takes, rook d6 check, and king f5. So, other than that, I think, so yeah, so he also calculated it. And other than that, that, I don't know. I mean, the only critical moment, I think, was when I played this d5. Maybe it's a bit too early. Because I can simply play that position with rook a8. Knight e3, bishop b3, queen b3, b6, and okay, I'm sure I I analyze similar position where pawn on a4, a5. The basic plan is like white tries to get some eventual d4 and get some center control. But in this structure, if it does, I can always take on d4 and play this knight b4 where I get a supporting square for the knight. So yeah, I mean preparation was good, everything was good, but. I had to, yeah, this concrete line I shouldn't have entered, I think, because I didn't see what to do, but maybe it was all fine throughout, I don't know, I had to go and check. Did any point in the game you feel, felt like the game could go either ways? Uh, many times, because as I said, after I played D5, it was very critical, ED and D in Knight C4, because I, if I, I would have obviously calculated a lot again, this, because I finished my calculation, that's why I played D5, but I would have calculated again this knight f4 like because it's just a pawn yeah if he takes so other i mean i don't know in the worst case i had to play some bishop g4 s3 bishop f3 queen f3 and knight f6 but we both considered it so to be so bad but i'm not sure just now maybe that portion is okay so i had to again everything had to go and check that's all mm -hmm. yesterday was the rest day what yeah. did you do did you prepare or did you go out somewhere no i mean Nodirbek is a tough opponent yeah, to face after the press day. Also, I mean, after the game against Gugesh, I was emotionally a bit high. So, like, I wanted to calm down. I, I think the rest day was very useful. I just tried to, fo I mean, focus on the rest of the tournament, focusing on this important game. 
and yeah, like with white, as I said, I mean, his like his style is very close to Magnus. Like, technical position, he can play, outplay you, and just win there. So, so I mean, every position I had to check to make sure like. I equalized comfortably and yeah, it was a tough day I should say. I went to the gym a bit. Also morning I went with Sedram and Aryan Chopra for a walk. So that's all what I did. How are you feeling in Qatar? It's nice. I mean I played in 2014 or 15. Huh? I cannot remember properly. So there I played first round against Anish Giri. It was a thrilling experience because I never until then got to play all these strong players and I saw like Magnus, I mean, saw the tie break, experienced everything, so that time I enjoyed a lot and this time obviously it's not maybe that strong or okay, I mean I became stronger for sure, so that time I was 2400, so so for me personally, yeah, it is a strong event, uh, but perhaps the Sharjah event was a bit more stronger, but with Magnus, Anish, all the elite players, I think this is just an amazing event to play and use as a training for like future progress. How would you evaluate your performance in this tournament so far? It's okay, game by game I think uh -huh. I played until uh, like, okay, Gugesh game was a, I don't know, I made many mistakes but it was a great practical game I should say. Because in time trouble I managed not to, like, I, I post all the practical problems I could. Because he came back again, I was a bit frustrated. Like many times, I get winning good positions against him, but he managed to. He's very resilient and very strong mentally, so he never gives up. And yeah, finally, when I won, I was a bit like very happy. So yeah, I mean, tournament is until then. I think I played against. I think it was the key. Like I played very good against the as of now against the lower rated. In the strength, they are also very underrated, I should say. Like everyone is playing very well, no theory, and so on. So, so you have to place a lot of effort to win games, and I'm happy. I'm playing well. I hope to continue in the remaining three rounds. Yeah, six rounds done in this tournament. Last three to go. What are your plans? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, the last three rounds also. I mean, Magnus pursuing everyone. It is. Uh, <laughs> It's not fun, I mean, fun at all. But still, I mean, as I said, I'm enjoying the process of playing and analyzing those games. Uh, I mean, I this game also I got to analyze with Abdul Satra, which was a good experience. And yeah, as of now, that's my main aim. And yeah, like after this, I'll play in Grand Swiss Isle of Man as well. So I just want to, want to like play good games and lace them and correct the errors that's all sure thank you so much and all the very best Welcome.